Hi, I'm Simon from Chat SDK. Today we're going to be looking at how to download and run the basic Chat SDK component for iOS. First, go to this website, github.com, Chat SDK, Chat SDK iOS, and you now have three options of how you want to download it. The first is to fork the repository, the second is to clone, and the third is to download. In this example, we're going to be first cloning the project and then while it's downloading, looking at the other two options. So, you want to load up your console and also load up a folder in which you're going to save your project in. CD, change directory, and then drag your folder in before clicking enter. And now the console is pointed towards this folder. Next, click the clone or download button and copy this URL before typing in git clone and the URL. And this will start downloading the project into your folder. While that processes, we'll now look and talk quickly about forking and downloading. If you want to just download a zipped file of the project, you can click download zip and this will download a zip folder into your downloads which will be almost identical to the cloned version. The only difference is it won't be linked to Git, which means you won't be able to easily pull changes and improvements from the Git repository. Forking the repository means that you copy a version of the repository onto your GitHub account, and this has advantages because you can modify and change and create your own project based on the repository and very easily import changes, improvements, and bug fixes from the original repository. Now that that's finished downloading, we can look inside the chat SDK folder. First, you can see all the development pods that we have in here. Each of these folders describes the components that it contains and what it does for the chat SDK. At the bottom, we have the two projects, Xcode and Xcode Swift. These projects are standalone projects that then download and use the components in the rest of the project. The only difference between Xcode and Xcode Swift is that Xcode Swift runs on Swift. What we need to do next is download the pods using CocoaPods to get all the frameworks we need for the project. So we go back to the console and this time we change directory to the appropriate folder that we want. If you want to use the Swift project, then drag the Xcode Swift. In this case, I'm going to be using the objective C. Click enter and then click git pod install. This will download the appropriate pods from the internet. It's worth noting that doing this on the Xcode project will not download the pods for the Swift project. If you want to use both, then you'll need to do this for both of them. Now that that's completed, you might see this yellow error text in your console. This can be completely ignored. It's a current issue with CocoaPods and doesn't affect the running of your project or Chat SDK in the slightest. Load up your project and you'll see we have two new files, the pod file lock and the XC workspace file. From now on, when using CocoaPods, you should only ever use this new XC workspace file to load up your project. Previously, you would have used the Xcode project file. If you do that while using CocoaPods, although the project will seem to run correctly, there will be subtle problems with it and the project won't run overall. So load up your XC workspace and you can now test the Chat SDK on your device or simulator. The advantage of testing the Chat SDK first is you can get a feel for all the different features. To add the Chat SDK to your own project requires a little bit more customization and setup. This is because Firebase requires a custom bundle ID to link from your account to your project. In this case, you can log on with an anonymous account, customize your profile, and chat to other users on our test accounts. Hopefully, this tutorial was helpful. Thanks for watching 
and make sure to check out our other tutorials on our website and on our wiki page. Thanks, bye.